This video is sponsored by Invite to Elements. Hey, what's up guys? This is Wasi from FlameLineVisualEffects.com and welcome back to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create glitch typography animation inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's see what we will create today. If you want more tutorials like this then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Okay so let's get started. Okay so first create a new composition. Let's call it glitch typo. And I'm going with same 1920 1080p frame rate 30 duration 5 seconds long then click on ok. Ok now create a text layer so right click new then click on text and type your text here i type in typography now make it center okay now click here then click on animate then click on scale now scale value set zero then go to around two seconds sorry two frames forward and then uh, go to range selector then set keyframe on start then go to around one second nine frames and then start value set it 100 now select these two keyframe then press f9 then open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like this now go to advance and then randomize or set it on Now again click on animate then click on position now click on add then selector then click on wiggle now select this range selector one and then delete it now uh, go to wiggle selector then go to two frames and then set a keyframe on max amount and min amount then go to around one second nine frames and set both value zero now select this keyframes then press f9 then open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like this now wiggle per second set it zero and then position y set it maybe uh, to one double zero then random sheet set it maybe 12 looks good to me Now select this text layer then right click then choose pre-compose then select move all attributes and rename it to text then click on ok. Ok now go to effect and preset window and search for echo. Now select this effect and apply onto this layer. Now echo time set it 0 0.0025. And then number of equals set it uh, maybe 65 and then decay set it 0.95 perfect okay now go to around 10 seconds sorry 10 frames then set a keyframe on numbers of equals then go to around one second um, 17 frames and then value set it zero now press u on your keyboard 
now select this to keyframe then press f9 and then open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like this Okay, now select this layer then right click then choose pre-compose then select mobile attributes and rename it to text1 then click on ok now go to effect and preset you want to search for turbulent displays now select this effect and apply onto this layer okay now go to beginning of this animation then set a keyframe on amount and amount set it 85 and size set it 20 then uh, go to around 1 second 17 frames and then amount set it 0 then again go to effect and preset window and search for noise now select this effect and apply onto this layer now beginning go to bring up this animation then set a keyframe on noise amount and set it 50 percent then again go to around 1 second 17 frames and amount of noise set it zero now select this layer then press u and select all keyframes then press f9 then open graph editor and then simply change the graph curve to something like that perfect design better projects faster with Envato elements get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready to use template for your digital projects create more with premium design assets video templates mockups fonts presentations photos audio files and more all with commercial license for extra peace of mind. Envato Elements will make any projects better while saving your time, efforts and money. Get unlimited downloads with Envato Elements and start creating today. Looks good to me. Okay, now uh, select this uh, text layer and then right click then choose pre compose then select mobile attributes and rename it to text 2 now click on ok ok now select this layer then go to effect and preset window and search for shift channel now simply select this effect and apply onto this layer and then simply uh, I'll turn off the red and green and turn on the blue now select this layer then press ctrl plus d and simply move one frame forward something like this and then select this layer then turn off blue and turn on green then simply select this layer then press ctrl plus d again then again move one frame forward something like this now select this layer and then simply turn off the green and turn on the red now select this two layer and then change the layer mode to add okay now select all layers then right click then choose pre-compose then select move all attributes and rename it to main text then click on ok ok now go to around maybe uh, 1 second 20 uh, 27 frames then simply select this layer then hold down ctrl shift then press D now select this layer and then press delete now select this layer then press ctrl plus D now select this layer then right click then choose then go to time then click on time reverse layer now drag it forward something like this
Okay, let's run to view this. Okay, now create a null object. So right click new, then click on null object. Now select this two layer, then print it to null one. Now go to around one second 18 frames. Then select this null one, then press S, then set a keyframe on scale, and then go to around maybe two second 10 frames, and then scale amount set it uh, 65. Now select this tool keyframe, then press F9, then open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like this. Okay, let's add a background. You can download this background from the link in the description box below. Our animation is complete. Press 0 to run to view this. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Till then, peace out.